boy, Shanta, your boy, Renate. What's going on? Catch us on Wild and Mofo, Real Dumb Shit, and Redactor Shunt for the Twitter. On YouTube and on Facebook is Official Wild On. Instagram is Wild On Official. And Mixcloud is Wild On RDS for all that dumb shit. Shit. What's going on? We're back again, and it's the 21st episode. I am fully guessed. My name is Shunt. And, and this. Redacted. And we're back in the motherfucking place to be. Um, first of all, um, it's been a changing of the guard, so I'm the one now sort of like researching all the dumb shit and the wonderful shit that goes along with it. Um, for the last 10 episodes, it's been redacted, so if it's been kind of swag, it's his fault. Um, Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all jokes aside, um, basically, a lot of dumb shit's been happening. I'll just give you a quick rundown, you know, I'm not sort of sadist. Um, so basically, gun. <laughs> to say it. I'm just saying. Uh, what are you this to say it? speaking to DC movies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> petty as hell as ever. Um, but basically, um, what is it? James Gunn, no play. So no gun play on the, the Disney front. Um, we're going to be discussing about that. We're going to be discussing about um, Iron Fist and his new foe Devos with the glowing hands. Lots of glowing hands going up in the place. Um, Terminator reboot, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, um, Sexy Beast prequel series, um, Star Wars Resistance, and Mulan, uh, Aretha Franklin dying, you know, R.I.P. and all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> what? Um... Uh, Michael Caine spoiling Inception uh, King of Thieves as well um, his bits and pieces do that Lady in the Tramp um, Spider-Man Far Away From Home sort of um, updates um, Slaughterhouse Rules um, Riddick 4 and House of Cards re well it's not reboot um, restart in November so first things first James Gunn um, oh wait 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 before you get into that (laughs) <laughs> what do you mean before I get into that? You can't really do this now. Like, this is the worst thing about it. Pre- you have to preempt it. You have to ask permission. Why not, bro? It's fuck. fuck Why it. not? What? What is it? <laughs> My foot's on the dr- on the driving pedal, bro. I've got, I've got to shunt this forward. Um, yeah, I was reading this- <laughs> I was reading something the other day, mm-hmm. and it has to be one of the most fucked up things I ever heard. Like, Barring like something that's actually a crime. Okay. And this thing probably should be a crime. Go ahead. Um, I'm interested now. It's not actually a criminal act, but it's super fucked up. Okay. Uh, so I was reading the other day about how um, this couple was getting married. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. Um, they got to like the ceremony. Nice. Um, and in the middle of the ceremony, the best man. Mm-hmm. Decided to propose to his girlfriend. Oh, still the funder. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Shit's mm. fucked up, bro. Did um, she say yes or no? She said yeah. Okay, that's fine. Then. She said yeah, um, but and then they did they just swiftly move on straight away from that? Or was there sort of like, oh my god, I can't believe nah. you're getting married? Nah. Uh, this bitch got super emotional, mm. and so like the bride was saying that she couldn't hear, like the vows over the sobbing <laughs> like oh. like she was sobbing like from happiness mm. and like she, oh openness yeah openness and, um, it's a dick move yeah she was saying like the video videographer was like cutting away to like look at her reaction and shit like that it's not to do with her though exactly it's not her day exactly Fucking heads will roll, sir. Yeah, I know. Man deserves to get fired for that shit. It's like, I'm paying you. <laughs> I'm not paying you. Well, it's not not really the videographer's... Um... It is, because he should recognise that, yeah, one, yeah. that was a dick move. Yeah. And two, like, why are you cutting away to look at this bitch crying because she got proposed to when I'm up here trying to say my vows? Yeah, but she'd probably, like, have um, cutaways of um, the whole ceremony. And, and, like, to be fair, you can edit it so she's crying because she's emotional. Fair enough if you're there maybe, on the day. Maybe, but obviously it was distracting enough for yeah. the to notice. Yeah. So it shouldn't be done. It's a dick move. Uh, not only that, mm-hmm. when it comes to the uh, like the reception and the best man speech, mm-hmm. like he apologised, mm-hmm. but he then went on to go on about... Spiel, spieling about his... His relationship with his girlfriend and how happy they're going to be and blah, 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 blah. Rock should have been thrown, bro. Didn't even really mention the bride and groom. 
<laughs> rock show. But it depends. I mean, like, some people... Mean, depends. It some people depends. deserve that sort of treatment. It depends on... Um, because there's always some bullshit in the build-up of the wedding. Yeah. Like, um, especially if you're the best man, you're going through... Uh, and I assume that hey, his girlfriend was, like, the maid of honour or some shit. Uh, I don't know. They, they didn't really mention Well, that, this so. is the thing. It's like... I wouldn't really assume so. But even so, it's one of those ones where you should really just... You know, like, me personally, I would have done it at the reception because I'm a classy guy. Obviously. Um... I wouldn't have done it halfway through the ceremony. Yeah, and then also fuck up your best man speech. No, nah, well, this is it. This is it. Um, I think it was the case that the groom got so pissed off him, like, because that was probably the original plan, and the groom was like, just fuck it, just do it now. Fucking do it now. Nah, nah. Nah, nah because it's like a constant whining in your ear. I can just imagine it, like, cracking off like that. Um, it's like, oh, God, I'm so nervous. You're nervous. I'm getting fucking married, bruv. Bruv. I'm getting married, head in the game, yeah? Head in the fucking game. <laughs> Not that I've been married before, but I assume it's a team activity that um, kind of, kind that everybody of, has to know their uh, role, play their position, you know? I yeah. was recently best man, uh-huh. and, um, like, it is stressful, but never would it ever occur to me to propose during my, my friend's wedding, like... At any point, really, let alone, yeah, but let what, alone like the actual vows. But 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 real talk, um, you being the best man, were you doing anything with the maid of honor? No. Then you have no real comparison, sir. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Because you're constantly seeing something. her. You're constantly seeing her. You're constantly if I was seeing doing her. Something boom, like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. She's in your face. She's in your face. She's in your face. So, so it's like one of those ones where you, you build up the pressure in your head, and then you have to release it, otherwise you're going to go mad. But saying that, and this is me being completely honest, complete dick move, complete dick move. Complete. Of course it's a dick move. It's totally fucked up. Mm. Totally fucked up. It's not about you, it's about them. Exactly. They, they paid all the money, they and rented out the venue. instantly made it about you. Of course. And so you're going to fuck up their wedding day and then you're going to have your own. It's like, nah. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, nah. It's only fair that he's the best man and then he, he announces that um, they're pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. If that, that's, that'll be, if, that'll be if that's gonna... beautiful. It's tit for tat, sir. Tip for tat. Is that going to be the same kind of impact though? Yeah. I guess. Something has to give, isn't it? Anyway, swiftly moving on because that shit, that shit will fuck up your vibe. Um, <laughs> That's so, what I'm here for. Well, um, Gunn, Gunn, James Gunn, um, not getting the Disney deal gig back. Are we surprised? No. I don't think so. Not really. But, um, I, don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why anyone would think that he would, like they made the decision it was highly unlikely they were going to go back on what they've said. Um, so I'm not surprised. Like, I wasn't really holding out hope. Like, right? just, mm. like, it was just something I didn't see happening. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would be the more reasonable thing to happen, but it was like one of those ones where, you know what I mean? It's, you can never ever tell nowadays. Like, especially with corporate companies, whether or not they're just going to stick to their guns or they're going to apologise. No, nah, most of the time they're going to stick to their guns. <coughs> because, I mean, like, in theory, they're not wrong. Yeah, you know, like it was an offensive joke, blah blah blah, inappropriate, yeah. blah blah blah. Um, you know, that's not to say I don't think they made a mistake, but mm-hmm. you know, they made a decision. They weren't totally wrong in their decision. They were probably totally wrong making a snap decision. Not really, you know. Was it really a snap decision? decision? Well, I mean, this yeah, is the I mean, thing. It was, probably, it was pretty much straight away. Yeah, but it's like these things seem straight away for us but like obviously if you're within that working environment it's probably something that's been building up over some period of time I would assume because they're not going to throw away money like that I don't think so yeah no but uh, yeah alright you can see it as throwing away money Mm. but they probably saw it as they were trying to cut the legs out of the bad press they were except they were expecting to like if they lingered or if they didn't uh, you know, take any action. Mm. They were probably expecting a backlash against them for it. Yeah, um, as has been seen yeah. with other people. Yeah, inaction equals peak. Um, yeah. So they probably thought, let's jump on this quickly and mm. and make a decision and, yeah. and whatever. Nip it in the bud, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like and just not really have a open dialogue about it and like well, actually, you know, see sense of. Like, one, it was a long time ago. Mm. Two, like, you already knew about it, which makes no sense. Mm. I like, mean, to be you fair... Can't, you can't fire me over some shit you knew about already, and, you, like, mm. it was cool. Like, if it was cool, 
then it's cool and it should stay cool. Like it doesn't, mm-hmm. or it shouldn't all of a sudden be an issue. Well, to be fair, what I think what Disney's going to be doing is that they're going to have him on hand because obviously they're still using his script. Um, that makes even less sense. I no, mean, no, not, no, no, no. But this whole entire thing is public perception, isn't it? So not public perception. Using the script. Yeah, but then you can say like public perception is like I don't know. Eighty percent of people don't know who's directing any film anyway. Yeah. So it, it doesn't really matter. But if you're still gonna like. If you're still going to have him on set or have a an active role, yeah, past, assistant director, past director, just using his script, yeah, it, it makes no like it makes what you've done stupid because he's still he's still working for you, like he's still doing a job, he's still in the building, he's still doing his thing, mm-hmm. um, and it just makes the fact that you said you fired him pointless. No, he's firing him from director position. So it's one of those ones where it's neither here or there. Um, I think they've got a lot of good options. They've got the guy that did um, for Ragnarok. Um, he yeah, so he he'll be a good sort of like substitute for Guardians, I reckon. And it kind of seemed like they were merging the two fields within um, Infinity War anyway. Yeah. So it did seem that you know they are going to change the direction or change a couple of bits anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean. I agree. That's probably the most logical choice. Mm. Um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like the whole mm-hmm. thing's stupid. I mean, like it shouldn't really have gotten to this point. Or I don't know. Like a cooler head should have prevailed. Like it's some kind of something should have gone on. Well, speaking of um, cooler heads, uh, as it were, um, Sly Stallone has left the Expendables Four. He left his own movie. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know how that works. Why? Well, there wasn't really any, any real reasons given other than it just says he just leaves in Expendables 4. So it could have been something for health. could have been the case that Creed 2 kind of went over or whatever. Um, yeah. Or he's having to do reshoots or whatever. But it was, very, it was the weirdest story I saw on, like, you know... It is weird, considering no one gives a fuck about Expendables. Uh, well, this is it. This is it. Especially after what happened with um, Terry Crews and yeah, yeah. they're saying all that shit. Um, so I reckon that's a bit weird. Um, other things um, that are kind of weird. Um, Michael Caine has spoilt the the ending of Inception. We didn't ruin it as such. He just explained certain things within. It? It? Yeah, he is. Is he? Basically, any time Michael Caine is in the scene, it's reality. So when you, well, I don't even remember to be honest. I don't even yeah, I reckon Christopher Nolan is just trying to get so us to watch three more hours of lot, Inception again. A lot but, of that film must be like not real. <laughs> it's not real. This is the thing. This is it. Like, um, so you got that, and he's in a new film um, which is based on the Hatton heist called King of Thieves. You heard okay, about? Yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks to be good. Looks to be good. Obviously, it's a British production, yeah. so not sort of like much information is given, but. You know, I, I'm not sure if it's a case of him sort of like ran, running his mouth now. I say running his mouth because like nobody really gave a fuck about Inception for a while. Um, but it's like the whole spinning top thing kind of gets explained. Yeah. Um, which is good because now I have closure and I can finally move on. Um, you need closure. Yeah, I did. Um, really? But yeah, um, other than that, um, yeah, that. Like, I don't know. I mean, I like Michael Caine. He's usually good. Yeah. Blow the fucking doors off. Um, if you're only supposed to. Exactly. And, um, yeah. You know, I mean, him ruining Inception. I mean, it's not really that many fanboys kicking off about it, but it's one of those ones where you have to keep it in sort of like... Yeah, but also, like, is he really the right person to be asking no, 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 no. He took it upon himself to to announce it. When I was working with uh, Mr. Nolan, oh, no, blah, blah, okay. blah. Yeah, he announced it, but that that's what I mean is, like, is he right the right person to announce it either? Like, you know, it's not like he wrote it. No, well, Nolan was just sort of like, you know, going to be um, leaving it to the people to make up their own mind, you know, yeah. give give it their own mystery, you know, yeah. that sort of shit. Um, which is key because you want people to obsess over this film, watch the film over and over again, etc., etc. Yeah. So I get it, but um, yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what he's thinking. Speaking about uh, thinking and all yeah, that I stuff. Don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really take that. And as a movie source. spoilers, as it were. Sp- I, don't, I, don't, I don't take that as a reliable source. Okay, fine. Uh, but yeah, my express interest in Twitter has basically uh, made me fall upon this um, new theory that's going around that um, in Spider Man there's meant to be a sub villain and it's going to be Hydro Man or Namor. Uh, a lot of people uh, are yeah. more because like somebody got yeah, sprayed in the hose I heard Hydro Man but yeah I don't know about Namor no it's because it's Eat Pray Live uh, and that's the storyline because um, when he goes on that sort of like express tour of Europe and all that stuff with his school or college or something like yeah. that and um, he was battling Namor and then he um, he knocks the guy that is Hydro Man into a, a, I don't know a river at the same time, and then he becomes Hydro Man. So it could be one of those ones where something similar happens, um, especially because they are going to be like in Prague. It probably and be Hydro Man. It probably won't be Namor. Well, I mean, like he could be battling Namor. I mean, Namor will probably get introduced in Avengers: Infinity War no. Part Two. Is it is it Infinity War or Infinity War Part Two? Uh, I don't think they haven't announced it yet. Yeah, well, whatever um, the film's called, anyway. But yeah, I don't think it'd be Namor. It'd probably be Hydra Man. Hmm. Um, especially like it's a Sony film, and like whether the deal has gone through or not, hmm. that's a um, what do you call it thing. Like, I don't think like it's coming out too soon hmm. for for it to be Namor I think well I think it'll be it, it, it hits two birds with one stone because like you know you are keeping the canon to the original comic book and you're introducing really, Namor they, so they don't really care about that not that they don't care about that but that's not like that's not a, a prime directive yeah I get that I get that I get that anyway speaking about prime directives um Treadstone and the Born Supremacy and TV series, which is going to be around about the same time as the International um, TV series. So you're going to have John Wick TV, and you're going to have um, Jason Bourne TV. What are your thoughts? That's, I mean, I don't really think that's an issue. They're they're different enough. Hmm. I just think like I don't know. I I don't think I don't think a Treadstone TV series is going to be that interesting. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I enjoyed know. Bourne. Yeah, but, like, it's not going to be Bourne. It's not like it's going to be Jason Bourne every week. It's going to be, like, yeah. the fucking minutia of what these dickheads are doing. Like, it's... It's... <laughs> it's I, I, just, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I mean... I don't think... It can, it can work. It, it depends can. on I'm how... I'm saying it can Because, obviously, just, Jason Bourne... Jason Bourne's just one of many, um... Many... Oh yeah, operatives slash agents slash people within that organization. So it can work. Yes, is it going to be the same universe or is it? Gonna it's be the same different? universe as Born, but it may well be Lethal Weapon. Did it? Was it going to be like before or after? That's what I'm saying. It may be be Lethal Weapon. Did so okay. it's like made for TV, for TV. Mm, I guess. I mean, I guess like if you. If you like follow like different operatives, mm. that, uh, well, yeah. that might work. But I just have a feeling it's just going to be it's like a boring like government agency procedural. Ah, no, no, I don't. Know. I, I think I think so because they seem to love making those, um, and like lots of good ideas just turn into that like fucking mm. blacklist, mm. Um, blind spot. Mm. Um, I don't know, whatever. Like, mm. it just, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to see it. I, yeah. I'd have to see it and see what they're doing. But I just, yeah, it doesn't really make me that excited. Uh, Continental, on the other hand, mm. I think could be more interesting. Yeah, everything's brand new. Um, yeah, not, yeah, I mean, it's not even just that. Just like the John Wick universe hasn't been explored that much, but yeah. a little bit that you have seen looks mm. pretty interesting yeah yeah it's very um, elegant elegant and violent I believe um, people yeah. have actually um, described yeah. it as 
So yeah, yeah you've so got that. Yeah, I might be more on board for that than than Treadstone, mm. uh, especially since like Jason Bourne's kind of fell off. Not really. I like the the Jason Bourne the name. Last one I was really into. I wasn't as into it as Supremacy or Ultimatum or, you know, Supremacy. What like is it? Supremacy, Identity, Ultimatum. Is identity, Supremacy. No, is uh, Well, Supremacy. Identity, Ultimatum, Supremacy, and then Jason Bourne. No, and Bourne, Ultimatum. You, you missed that Ultimatum. Supremacy. No, I said Ultimatum, su- huh? I said ultimatum second. Bourne. Ultimatum. Supremacy. Well, supremacy. Technici- technically, legacy, and then Jason Bourne. Yeah, yeah, that's all, that's the one I was thinking about. The one with Jer- Jeremy Rat and blah, mm. Hawk- Hawkeye. Um, yeah, which I didn't mind. Like, yeah, I, neither I, did I. I, I, I thought it was a good direction. Yeah. Um, but then obviously we didn't see anything else from it, so. Yeah, mm. man. It should have done a little bit better, and then could have mm. maybe like had them to have to team up in another one. Mm-mm-mm. That's what they should have done, regardless. Like if they were yeah. going to do like since they made. Fucking Jason Bourne. Yeah, they should have just made him uh, hook up with Renner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just have fucking bad luck with like spin. Well, not spin-offs, but like other franchises. Other franchises than Marvel. where he is meant to take over. Yeah, because like Mission Impossible didn't really work out for him. Yeah, um, but it's not a case that it didn't work out for him. It was a case of Tom Cruise is the pull for that film. Yeah, but like I feel like the one that he was in. Mm. Um, it it done so well that Tom Cruise was like yeah I'm coming back and mm. so it didn't really leave him much space mm. um, so is that the that's four isn't it uh, yes yeah mm. yeah um, and then yeah and then Legacy mm. like he was supposed to take over that franchise and yeah. it, it didn't do as well as they wanted it to Speaking of um, franchises that didn't do as well as um, people wanted them to, oh, that um, <laughs> that's the the fucking the, the name of the soundtrack for the not noise, but the I don't know what you call it. What? what would you call like the the millennium twenty teens? Twenty teens? Would yeah. you mean millennials or no? Like that as a decade? Oh, the double O's. I, or the noughties no but after that so like from 10 onwards oh oof. well we're still in it so it's like meh I don't know well yeah this decade anyway yeah, yeah. The sound- tens the soundtrack for this decade tweens it's like, tweens yeah so many fucking films that's mm. just not done as well as it's like ooh let's start a franchise we're gonna do a fucking mm. we're gonna add Venom to that list <laughs> don't you dare don't you dare Venom's gonna be amazing it's um, not man. it's gonna be amazing it's not Speaking of films that aren't going to be amazing anyway, um, Chronicles of Riddick 4. Did you even know that there was a third one? I did. Or do they count the second Riddick... I think they count the second Riddick film as the third one. Do they? I think so, because of Pitch Black. Pitch Black was the introduction. Yeah. Then um, you had... um, Chronicles. Chronicles of Riddick. And then Riddick. And then you had Riddick, yeah. Yeah. So this one's technically number four, but it's technically number three because Pitch Black was meant to be its Why own thing. Because Pitch Black was meant to be its own thing; it was just a character from it. Because Rebel was meant to be doing a Pitch Black two at one point. He's fighting against the same. I guess it's weird. Maybe. So yeah, are you excited for Riddick Four? I didn't even see the third one, uh, and the second one I didn't really like. Like I, I tricked myself into thinking I liked it. Mm. Just because I like the character, but mm. I didn't really like it. Didn't yeah. really... There was no resonance. I liked the game. Yeah. I liked the game. Uh, uh, yeah, that was good. Mm. Um, but yeah, I didn't see the third one. But I don't know. Like, I'm, you know, I could be enticed to jump back on board. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, Diesel just seems a bit desperate. Like he seems. No, he does seem desperate. He just seems clingy because he's lost his Fast and Furious, hasn't like, he? Well, clingy is a form of being desperate. Isn't it? Uh, desperate is like when um, you do anything to get it off the ground, and you know, desperation for me is more like urgency. Clingy is like not being able to let shit go. I guess. I just I feel like it's just a different degree of. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't even know. I feel like it's more desperation than clinginess. It's not like it's. Like, I don't feel like he doesn't want to let shit go. I feel like he's 
desperate to keep a franchise alive like fucking yeah, Triple X yeah. Fast and the Furious yeah. Riddick like yeah, he understands do himself. something else just do yeah. something else yeah well speaking of people that don't um, do anything else um, Sarah Hamilton Terminator reboot yeah. um, she looks good Linda Hamilton uh, sorry my bad Sarah Sarah Connor Sarah. Linda Hamilton yeah um, but yeah she looks good yeah she looks like she's ready to make the third one yeah but are they ready to make the third one <laughs> as long as they are don't they, let off no shotgun in the be... elevator that she'll be fine bruv like I, as long as you can't even say that like they've I don't know like how many films they made five and only two yeah but good? you know that <laughs> in Terminator 2 she was like deafened by that shotgun yeah in the elevator like, that's, that's that's tragic but like that's the reason why I'm she hasn't been about, in any films I'm recently talking about a quality of film like director will be a yelling cut and she'll be still speaking if you excited about a Terminator film mm-hmm. then like you know you need to be do a little bit more than you know apologise to Linda, Linda Hammond for making her deaf like you need to do something like yeah. none of your films since 2 have said anything yeah but it's because Edward Furnham wasn't in it there, there was no authenticity he doesn't yes. even need to be in it. Like, he doesn't need to be in it for it to be good. Mm. Like, they've had good actors in the in all of these films. Mm. And none of them have been good. That's because it's not the same. It doesn't need to be the same. It does. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't same, 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 but different. It's no, it an old school, high sc- high concept well, the film. Fact, the fact, the part that's the same is it's a Terminator movie. It's got Terminators in it. Like, uh-huh. you, Arnie's in fucking most of them. Mm. Like, you... Yeah, Arnie's in all of them. Yeah, technically, I don't really count him being in Salvation. I suppose it's just a CG image. Yeah, so like he's in most of them, or or all of them. It doesn't really matter. Um, so like you have the f- familiarity there, but there those films have just not been good. Mm. Speaking of films that aren't really good, um, Venom. No, you disgust me. Um, Lady and the Tramp have um, scooped up a couple of um, actors and actresses of um, value from the Marvel Universe. Um, the latest one has been um, the one that plays Valkyrie. Um, uh, Tessa Thompson. Yeah, Tessa Thompson. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. Um, What's playing Lady? Well, this is it. Controversial. Nobody knows what... Um, I don't know if that's a good role for her to accept. I mean, fair enough. I mean, like, she's doing so much recently, mm. like... I don't even if it's shit it's mm. not gonna hurt her no but... Um, but at the same time like it probably won't be shit I mean it'd probably be fine mm. um, I mean CG is CG it's in it, so. fucking lady in the tramp like, I can't really fuck that yeah. up I mean the one that looks really fucked up is um, Christopher Robin uh, that looks alright no but I'm just saying it's like Woody the Pooh just running around in real real life <laughs> I mean, we had the same thing with no, like. No, you know what really fucked me up, like seeing Tigger. Tigger. Yeah, Tigger. <laughs> Tigger looks elderly, doesn't yeah. he? He's no yeah, longer yeah. vibrant. Yeah. You know, it's like all grey and hundred acres just took it out of him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that looks messed up. That's uh, like childhood trauma. Uh, definitely, like, definitely. Trauma. Oh my gosh! So you got that, 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 um, and um, the other remake is Mulan, and um, the latest addition to the cast is now. None other than the dragon, um, Jason Scott Lee. What? Um, have you ever seen the dragon? Yeah, uh, yeah. As in the Bruce Lee film? No, uh, no. It's just weird in my brain because I was expecting you to announce the person that's playing Mulan, and then when you say like it's Jason Scott, I think like that's a dude. What are you talking about? The dragon. Uh, the dragon. No, I know. Yeah, I realize what you're saying now. Oh. But I thought you was oh. gonna, you were saying. The lady, because I saw that story this week as well. Like, yeah. The lady who was going to be playing Mulan, like, I don't know what her name is or what she's. No, she's, before, she's. But she looks about it, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. But, um, yeah, that just fucked so, up yeah. my brain. Yeah, so Jason Scott Lee is he's, in Mulan. He's going to be playing the dragon. No, I don't think he's going to be playing. Um, so is he? Um, I don't know. This is the thing, because he's at an age where he's sort of like. So he, could, he could be Mulan's dad. Could be Mulan's dad or Mulan's crush. I yeah, guess. I think he's too old for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking he's too old. Oh, yeah. um, or maybe he is a relative that goes into the army and then dies, I guess. Maybe. I think probably her, I, I, I think probably her, her dad. Hmm. Um, 
have you seen him in anything since Dragon? Time Cop. Is he in Time Cop? He's in Time Cop, bro. Yeah. Is he in Time Cop? I can't remember. I know he's someone. I know he's in that. He's got long hair, though, so... I haven't seen that film in a minute, man. I'm and he's in uh, Back to the Future as well. Back to the Future 2. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's been in a couple of films. I mean, you need like, to stop talking about people that are in the background of films, like fucking Michael Caine in... Um, Inception. Inception. <laughs> it's a dream within a Man's dream within a dream, scenes. isn't it? <laughs> no, no, this is it. And those two dreams, and those two dreams are reality. So that is your inside thing. Um, so let's see. I'm near enough through this whole Disney list. Um, Star Wars Resistance. Is that the TV series? Yeah, the TV animated series. The TV animated series. Oh yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the live action series. Live action series. That is. I can't remember what it's called I think John Favreau's directing yeah 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 and I heard like it was gonna be 10 million an episode ugh might as well just make films I think I think that's why I heard 10 million episode mm. it sounds crazy it is not even know. in a good way it just sounds it just sounds just legit crazy like I don't know yeah, there, there's no reason for that especially yeah and, and you know it's probably just gonna be on their streaming <laughs> Like well, well, this is it. This is it. Like, really? They can just hype like, it up, really? do whatever. Yeah. Really? Like, you're gonna uh. you're gonna charge nine ninety nine a month so someone can watch a ten million dollar an episode fucking TV series. That doesn't mm. sound right to me. Sounds about the only way they can afford it. To be fair, um, global subscriptions. You know, yeah, like, yes, fucking maybe. hell. Speaking about Hollywood nonsense... Wait, wait, Resistance, what's going on? Well, it's just been announced. um, Because I heard about the Star Wars thing, but, you know, I I feel like I'm crazy speaking out about it, about it out loud, if that that makes sense. So it's like, I honestly feel like I'm losing my mind because, like, um, they're releasing so much Star Wars things despite um, the whole controversy over Han Solo. It's like the whole... I mean, Star Wars saturation thing that they no, claim. That's 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 kind of the thing that is it's at that point where like they it only makes sense for them to push forward. Like, I mean, I'm not saying you know don't reassess or reevaluate mm. what you're doing, mm. but like they spent so much money on on acquiring Lucasfilm mm. and pumping out comics and they really made the money TV back series. they really made the money back I mean I way, guess so. but like you don't you don't spend that kind of money and mm. just make your money back in what f- four years or six years no they like have that. though they have no I know but I know but like that's you don't you know if you're making an investment you don't invest and be like yeah I'm just going to get my money back in six years and that's it I'm done yeah. like there's more money to be made on the table just mm. because one film didn't hit the mm. way you wanted it to um like they kind of played it the double edged sword way, like where you probably should have gone with something a little bit less well known, where you can kind of afford to take a hit. Mm. They tried to play it safe, like they've been trying with these offshoot movies. They've been trying to play it safe, so you get your Rogue One, where it's basically you know um, episode minus not well, no, it'd be like episode minus three. No, like no, 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 no. It'd be three point five. It'd be three point five. No, it'd be yeah, 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 right. It'd be three point five. Mm. Yeah, it's basically three point five. Mm-hmm. But then it, that's a bit weird because it's closer to four than it is to three. So it'd be like episode three point eight. Yeah, we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll give it that decimal. I mean, like, Whatever. because you got the Clone and Wars as well. And as... Safe, you try and play it safe again with mm. like Han Solo, who is like episode three point nine character 3.9, from 9, the yeah. original trilogy. Um, and then you know that didn't really hit well the only reason why it didn't really hit well is because it should have been more funnier it's all about his wit I to be fair even, and um, there are certain even, bits in the film that I disagree with no, that they should never show Han Solo's not really a character you need to know more about you don't need to know yeah. where he's come from yeah, you, you don't just need see to, action. You don't need to, to, to know that he stood in line and someone said alright you're Solo like yeah, like who, who's your family yeah. like what's your surname yeah. uh, I don't have any family I'm, I'm on my own oh you're, you're Han Solo like fuck off just go fuck yourself in the face mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you don't need to hear shit like that yeah I mean like to be fair I like the the aspect that Emilio Clark brought which is sort of like 
kind of like blending a grey pattern over what the dark side actually was. So it was a business opportunity rather than, you know, this whole evil thing. Because like, when I was watching episode four till six, yeah. it's like the Empire and everything else are just straight up evil. They're, they're all about, you know, killing and death and all that stuff. Whereas like within the terms of the overall galaxy, they have an agenda. The light or the uh, the light side of the force have their own agenda. Yeah. And um, yeah, within that sort of aspect of Han Solo where she's talking to Darth Maul and all that stuff, it kind of made it okay, I guess. Like, uh, so it's not sort of like something. I mean, kind of, but like at that point, it's not as sinister. At, at that point, yeah, but at that point, like Maul would have not been Sith anymore. That would have post him being Sith. Yeah, he's, he's more grey now, isn't he? Uh, I guess. Mm. Um, Although he looks, he, he looks like a devil. That's the only. I thing. mean, yeah, but man can't help how he looks. He can. He's racist. No, he can't. Yeah, born like that. In, no, no, in, in the films and in the TV series, they've got like, like image changes and shit like that. You yeah, can look how he wants. Because he looks like that something out of more, nightmares. That's more racist. It's not racist. It is it's, racist. It's alien. Like, it's oh, alien. You don't like what you look like, so you should have used like an image inducer. No, it's like that's what you, you said, look bro. like you look like a scary demon guy. Racist. It's not. It is racist. It's exactly what it looks like. You go to any iconography about demons, yeah. and you're gonna more likely find something that looks like Darth Maul than anything else. It's not racist. It is or, racist. Or alienist. It or is racist if you're saying that he should change what he looks like because you don't like what he looks like. No, I'm not saying I don't like what it looks like. I think it looks badass and cool. Yeah. I'm just saying he can look like anybody he wants. Same thing with the mystique thing. I keep going over this shit. Yeah. You know, you can look at you can look like anything you want. Like yeah. it's not as if you're stuck in that image. Yeah. But either either. Uh speaking about Hollywood nonsense. Mutant and proud. Yeah, go on. Ah, mutant and proud. I don't give a fuck. Um Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Have you um seen the uh, the first clips of it? Um, I've seen I think I saw like stills same um, I, I'm fairly interested Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt I don't think they've been in yeah. any film together have they? Um, not off the top of my head no I don't think they have been not off the top of my head um, um, but yeah I mean you know uh, Tarantino mm, DiCaprio mm-hmm. Pitt like, mm. you can't really go wrong. No, you can't really it is it is meant to be like his last film, isn't it? Too wrong. So he says. Yeah, he's full of shit. So he says, like you know, like he he doesn't seem like the kind of person that will like how intricate he is with his films and how hands on up to like the soundtracks and stuff like that that he is. It's it. It's difficult for me to see him just like just quit and just mm. not do anything. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like he says that's going to be his last film, but he also said he wants to make a Star Trek film. So, you know, what are you going to do? Like, is that really going to be your last film? Is Star Trek going to be last your last film? Yeah, I mean, I think he he's got his own universe that he built or yeah. he, like claims to build or whatever. All the films are connected. No, they're not, bruv. They're not. <laughs> You got one about a western. You got one about a samurai of a sword and shit. And it doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, no, like, didn't you hear the thing? Like, basically, like some of those films have characters that are related to other characters within. No, other not films. just that, but like some of those films. So Samuel Jackson who plays the one black guy. Is all the black guys? No. Well, how can he be all the black guys? I mean, he is all the black guys. Hmm. <laughs> but all the black guys aren't the same character what I was gonna say discuss is uh, that's, some, some of the, that's kind of fucked up like, I just, I just realised I just realised no he doesn't he's not he is he's not Django he is in Django uh, he is in Django oh shit but he's not the only black guy in Django yeah but it's set in slavery bro. I guess it's not really a good example what I was gonna say is basically all his films are one universe but in that universe, some of those films are films or TV shows in that universe. Oh, yeah. I suppose. So, what, Death Proof and all that are just, like, shows within that universe? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. 
Like, I, I can't be bothered. Is Michael Caine like um, in the scenes? Is Michael Caine in what? <laughs> so, so like we could decide which ones are reality and which ones. Maybe aren't. he might be fucking lurking around. In the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh lurking God! Around in the background. I oh. think. I think like one example was, um, you know, Kill Bill. Yeah. Uh, and you know in Pulp Fiction how Uma Thurman says that she's she was in a pilot for a TV show mm. and like all the like it, they had different ladies and they all had a special skill oh yeah so that TV show like Kill Bill is so Pulp show. Fiction yeah Pulp yeah. Fiction is good so okay. that, Pulp Fiction will be like the, the universe but Kill Bill is a show in that universe okay and Inglorious Bastards, how does that fit in? I think that will be a show in that universe. So anything that's the more outlandish ones mm-hmm. will be shows in that shows or films in that universe. Mm-hmm. And uh, like you know, the more realistic mm-hmm. ones are that mm-hmm. they're in that universe. Okay, so Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs is real, and Pulp Fiction is real because uh, Michael Masden and so Michael Masden is the Michael Caine. So basically, wherever Michael Masden is. <laughs> No, because he's in Kill Bill. Yeah, but he's only in like the barn scene. Yeah, but then you can't say that because then it doesn't work. No, yeah, because the barn's real. Because that's where it kind of no, gets kind of like satirical. Be real because Kill Bill is a show in that universe. Okay, fine. I get you. Well, yeah, Michael Masden and uh, John Travolta's character, mm-hmm. they're brothers mm-hmm. in the real universe. Mm-hmm. So those two shows are real. I mean, those two films are real. Mm-hmm. But Inglorious Bastards is probably a film in that universe. Kill Bill is a show in that universe. Hateful Eight. Uh, Hateful Eight is probably real. Mm. Yeah, because uh, the the character that um, and Django and Django is a show as well. I don't know. I was gonna say maybe that's real because the character. No, no, the westerns are shows. Yeah, westerns are shows. The westerns yeah. are shows. But Django, the character that uh, Samuel Jackson plays in. Hateful Eight was originally going to be Django. As in Jamie Foxx? I don't think he was going to play him, but it was going to be the same character. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Kind of see it. Yeah, the, Western, the Westerns are shows in that universe. Okay, cool. That makes sense. All right, now that we've got that cleared up, no Michael Caine references and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> so you could have, it's a weird Michael Caine reference that's going to pop up. Um, speaking of um, British actors... Um, Danny Dyer no 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 sir um, we're just... talking about well Idris and the James Bond thing we'll, we'll save that for another episode because that's way too controversial we're just going to glance over it now we're glancing over it um, it's not too controversial and it probably won't happen I've, he's probably too old he says, he says don't believe the hype so don't yeah, believe he's it um, he's so too yeah Ben Kinsley at his finest yeah. what film <sighs> sexy beast no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> I'm joking Iron Man no no it's, it's definitely Sexy Beast it's coming out of a prequel TV series I am somewhat kind of excited I'm going to say something controversial what is that didn't like it no 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 no, 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 Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Go on. Go on. Like it. 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 All right. I'm going to go away. I'm going to have a walk and come back and you're going to like it. Thumbs down that bitch. Come back. I'm back. You're going to like it. Like it. No, I mean, like, I love Sexy Beast. Um, It came at a time where... I don't know, film was way too serious and Ben Kinsley was like this, you know, esteemed actor at said time and the juxtapos- like juxtaposition of him just being the worst human in the whole world. Like that guy in Sexy Beast that he portrays is the worst person in the world Fair ever. enough, on that level, but only on that level. As a film, didn't enjoy it. Well, I mean, like Ray Winston, you either love him or hate him. So it's like one of those He's ones... He's fine that- in some stuff. Yeah, that's crash. Um, I, mm, yeah, he's fine in some stuff. In other stuff, I feel like he's gone above his station. Which one? Uh, what was that? Uh, not Starsky and Hutch. 
like the English version. Yes. And he was in it with um, what's that fucking rapper? There's a rapper involved. Yeah, the white one. Plan B. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that had, film was shit. But it wasn't because of it wasn't because of Ray. It was because of Plan B. It was because of everything. Everything was wrong. What was that, that one called? Uh, uh, the specials? No. Uh, Let's just leave that one in the past. Just, just uh, let it die. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to waste any form of my memory on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah the, sort of, I mean but Ray Winston I, I like in general I mean his betting adverts are, are compelling <sighs> they're annoying <laughs> <laughs> fuck off oh Jesus no man no S- speaking of which our sponsors no. our sponsors of this show are Betfair so uh, you might have to turn up down fuck off oh I have to get, I have to get money I have to get money I have to get money huh? I have to get the money in it the money is um, uh, speaking about the money slaughterhouse rules have you heard of anything on like uh, yes um, I've vaguely seen the trailers as I press like mm. skip in front of YouTube mm. videos nice. but that's uh, only because to be fair I'm already on board so mm. I really need to see the trailer yeah fine um, yeah sounds good mm. Simon Peck like, yeah, can't go wrong can't go exactly wrong. Can't go wrong. Yeah. is Edgar Wright writing it uh, I don't think so yeah. I don't think so um, it looks kind of like that that class of film. Does that make yeah, sense? but like I don't know, like Simon Pegg just brings his own his flavor to everything, and because he's worked with Edgar Wright so much, like it's easy to get the two confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, because Simon Pegg, Simon Pegg, I've always like even back from space. Yeah, you just gas from friggin' um, space. Mission Impossible. This nah, is space, man. I, I've 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 been into Simon Pegg since Space. Okay, fine. Um, Same that here. show is amazing. And I rewatch it, you know, not a lot, a lot, but I've rewatched it, uh, you know, a fair few times since it stopped, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched it a couple of times. Um, yeah. It's like that and Red Dwarf I always go back to. See, me, that, Red Dwarf and The Office, and you hate the fucking Office, so it's like... That, uh, that, Red Dwarf and... Uh, extras as well. I, I can watch extras. Stuff uh... As an IT crowd, I used to, I, I Black watched. Adam. Black Adam. Yes. Yes. Bordrick. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you don't like Black Adam. Uh, you are, you're a sinner. I'm not you're really. A fucking not really. sinner. He is a Boris Johnson defender. So fuck him. Who? Rowan Wilson? Uh, Rowan Atkinson? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Bean tried to defend. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't really care about that. But that's what I'm saying. Black it's like, Adam's amazing. But it's the fact that I kind of get from where Rory Exeter was saying it's like you have to commit to the joke because like, it was a funny joke he said like, yeah. that they, they look like letterboxes and all that stuff which is completely racist oh it's not like racist it's no, a you know this I didn't want to I didn't want to like I wasn't going to bring this up ah. I didn't expect to be talking about this ah. but my feelings on this is like pretty simple like you know like wild on isn't it one right. wild on but mm-hmm. two like if you're in a certain position you can't say certain things mm-hmm. and you can't expect that people aren't going to say when you say things like that you can't expect that mm. people aren't going to you know take offence or like they're going to be inflammatory like mm. you can't be in your position and say shit like that if you want to talk like that don't be a fucking MP it's simple mm. yeah definitely. it's real simple like if I'm if I wanted to be an MP or if I want to be an MP I'm going to stop talking like this like it won't be wild on anymore it'll be like some other shit it'll be okay yeah <laughs> that's what yeah, it'll be exactly. it'll be okay it'll be exactly. okay it'll be okay it'll be PC mm. it'll be like mm. white bread like be mm. nothing like whatever ah. but uh, like until that day I'm gonna talk like this and then mm. you know after that day I'll talk like that again Fine. but like you can't you can't have it both ways like you can't you can't stand up there and act like you're a fucking comedian or like you want to get yourself that's all it is that's all it is like mm. Boris, Boris Johnson's got no fucking morals he's got no fucking to be fair he wrote ethics. it he wrote it in no, the column he whatever the column. no whatever but everything he does like he's got no real personal views everything he does is to get himself over that's all he does that's all he ever does all these little fucking projects like building the fucking bridge getting rid of the other buses and bringing uh, you know the, the taller buses back and, and the bikes whatever and the, bikes, the fucking yeah. bikes mm. all these stupid the fucking uh, 
the Skyway thing, mm. all that dumb shit he spent money on while he was uh, Man. London Mayor. All, all that shit is just to get himself over and have his name in the fucking papers. That's it. Don't listen to that fucking dude. Like, mm. whatever. <laughs> Speaking of politicians that you shouldn't really listen to. Yeah, yeah go on. House of Cards relaunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I mean, look, yeah, good. Mm. Good. Um, mm. It's good that everyone didn't lose their job just because of some fucked up shit one person done. Mm. Um, it's good that one of the best characters on that show gets her time to shine. But apparently, Space is back. No. Space is back. Are you serious? Back again. Nah. Space is back. Nah. To touch some men. <laughs> Space is back. 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 Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> Woo. You're real proud. Are you serious? Yeah, apparently. Um, like, it's been semi confirmed, spoiler mill, that um, Kevin Spacey's character <sighs> will be either. It's not going to be recast, I know that much. No, what I, I mean, the last I heard, and it was ages ago, I mean, it was basically, you know, 10 <laughs> minutes after Spacey got fired, that like they were going to continue the series, at least for one other series with Robin Wright as the the main character and Spacey mm. was gone That's that was the last I heard I haven't really mm. been looking for it or you know to be honest I, I dropped off a, a House of Cards Ever since. season 3 I think yeah it's quite so quite it was a, a while ago yeah. um, but I don't know man that's, from, that's just why what's the point I like, can't fire someone and bring them back we just had this with the fucking James Gunn shit like yeah I mean I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's taking any money he's just touching guys on set he, he's alright with it <sighs> nah I'll do this one for free just bring that ass over here <laughs> no me comment too. me too no you no too no comment <laughs> god damn say, it say nothing bro Oi, oi. <laughs> Speaking about saying nothing uh, when it's really awkward, um, Devos versus Iron Fist. Brother yes. for your brother. Yeah. And, um, um, yeah, I mean, I'm amped. I'm amped. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I am, yes. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to suck like the last one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it looks like they've learnt lessons. Mm-hmm. Um... It looks like they've learnt lessons, so they've got a new. Oh shit! It, no, it was the the fight choreogra- choreographer from Black Panther was on board. Oh, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, hopefully, they've given this guy. Um, what's his name? Uh, Rand. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm Finn. thinking of the actor. Yeah, Finn Jones. Finn Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, they've given him more time to learn the parts of the fight choreography that he's going to be doing. Mm. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. More Misty Knight, more Colleen, uh, Colleen Wynn, mm. um, more Davos. Yeah, I'm on board. Mm. I am I am on board. Just no dragons. Uh, this, they don't have the budget for that. Yeah, I mean, the fact that thing is, is that if I was like, bruv... <laughs> Like you yeah, pissed. Oh god! I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> All right, Michael Caine's just walked in, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little oh, dose shit. of reality. Uh, upon pouring a said selected, um, alco- uh, oh god, alcoholic beverage into a certain device known as a jigger. Um, That's racist, one, bro. One, no, no, it's not. It's, it's accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't call me a jigger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you call me a jigger, motherfucker? Um, but uh, <laughs> oh god! Uh, upon pouring it into, into said jigger, he missed the majority of the glass, which was nowhere near him, and proceeded to pour rum, yes, glorious, <laughs> sensuous rum, upon the floor. Apologies. I'm not gonna say what brand of rum because that'll only make you angry and thirsty. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think that is the whole of the list. We went through this in record time. No, you were saying something before I poured the rum on the floor. Um, yeah, don't pour the rum on the floor. That's what I was saying. Ah, right, cool. Uh, <laughs> right. and I mean, it was Devos. It was Devos. Uh, Devos and all that stuff. I mean, like, 
I'm excited for the new new lineup for the Netflix verse of Disney. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be however long that's going to last. Well, until the end of next year, and then I'm not going to watch any Disney series ever again on Netflix. Well, you won't be able to because it won't be on there. I know. I know. Well, it will be on the UK one. They, there's no way they're launching everything. Yeah, but the Disney the Disney app's probably going to be worldwide. Yeah, they've got. I'm the surely they're big enough to, yeah, to worldwide. Yeah, but it. like, it's think... licensing. It's licensing. Um, maybe. I mean, I yes. Yeah. We'll I... see. I guess. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get it. Um. Yeah. So yeah, before we get the hell out of here, mm-hmm. I have a proposal to make. Depends on what the proposal is. The proposal and it better is... not be on my day, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> it better not be on my day, bruv. The proposal is yes, two films, one winner. Loser has to do a forfeit or give up money or something. Okay, what do you mean two films? Like you have to divulge said information. Venom. Versus Aquaman. Aquaman. You're doubling down, yeah? You're doubling down. It down, bro. You're doubling down. You're doubling right, down. Fine, all the way down. Fine. I, I'm championing Venom. I'm very comfortable in my decision. Okay, but I think I've been thinking about this, and like the you, way you will. <laughs> no, no way. The way will. The way. Well, you know, obviously you can agree or disagree, or we can mm. work something out. But what I was thinking is, we'll have. Um, Three cat, three categories. Mm-hmm. So one will be like audience view. Like yeah, audience that's, that's, that's that's neither here nor there. Why, well, that's why there's more. Hold on, mm-hmm. critics view, mm-hmm. and then for third, because I don't think uh, box office is fair. What I will say is um, the second, the first week drop off. So like whatever the percentage of the drop off is the on the first week. Mm. Whichever but, one has the smallest drop off wins that category. Yeah, but Aquaman for one, yeah. In regards to your latter category, yeah. um, is going to be around Christmas time, so we can't really include that. No, that's why it's based on percentage, so it, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, it's but Venom's out percentage. in what October, November. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't matter because it's a percentage. I mean, if Venom's still in the charts, yeah, um, that's not the top happen. ten. The top ten by December. Right. That's going to be in the top 10 for three weeks max. I reckon it's going to last a little bit longer. Especially Actually, after no, you watch I it. haven't seen... I, I should have looked before I said that, mm. but I stand by it anyway. What? Like, I should have looked to see what else is out around that time, but I stand by it anyway. Yeah. Three weeks max, top 10. Oof. All right, we'll see. We'll, well see. no, okay. No, three weeks max, top five. Top five. Yeah. Okay, five. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it will do well, but... I think it'll do okay. Yeah. I mean like I'm not expecting because obviously the Venom with Eyes has sort of like made me sort of see it but I think it will do better than Aquaman oh did you hear the thing what so you know how we thought that Venom was going to be rated R mm-hmm. PG-13 bruv yeah man, not do that PG-13 PG-13 and the reason why they said that they wanted to be PG-13 is because they hope mm-hmm. they hope that one day, please, Mr. Marvel, sir, you'll let Spider-Man come and play with our Venom. <laughs> That's why they're going to make it PG-13. Yeah. Garbage, should, bro. Shouldn't have done it. Garbage. Done it. They should have made it as bloody as possible. Garbage. They should have. They should have. Because there's no reason why. If it, if, if that was rated R, there's no reason why. Or just have why. two, two you, versions. Like, just have two you versions. You need two versions. Just, like, when yeah. he goes... when he If he was going to be in a Spider-Man film... Like, you just, like, less, like, eating people's fucking pancreas. Like, there's no space for that in a Spider-Man film anyway. Mm. Because, like... It'll happen, off, it'll, it'll happen off um, off tile anyway. No, but it's not even that. Like, you... I don't know, like... You, it's not like you're... He's, if he was going to be in a Spider-Man film, he's not going to be a villain. Like, because mm. you can't go from, like, he's going to be an anti-hero in his own film to being a villain in the Spider-Man film that doesn't make any sense no it does no it doesn't make any sense it does because it all depends on um, because as I said before if they are doing the whole Spider-Man Venom thing and all that stuff yeah um, whether or not it's the case that Eddie Brock got mashed up by Venom or they are planning Secret Wars or there's some other bullshit 
I reckon Secret Wars is the better move for them to do. Um, And that's the reason why I was kind of disappointed when I heard about the whole Venom thing. Secret Wars, no way, because one, it's backwards. Like, there's no point introducing Venom and then doing Secret Wars. Two, that's, it's, it's, that story is not built for film. Like, for comics it works. It's not built for film. Depends. I mean, like, like I don't think it depends. It just doesn't. It's not built for film. All right. So if Secret Wars doesn't work out, Secret Invasion will. Because I think that's Secret what Secret Invasion is a totally different story. No, 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 no. But that's what I'm saying. I could see one or two things happening in the yeah. segue of um, Phase Four to Phase Five or Phase whatever they're going to call it after. Um, if X Men come along, that's a lot of cannon fodder for the eyes, as it were. You know, you can do whatever you want with the films and all that stuff. Avengers might have to take a back seat or can take a back seat. Their whole, you know, trail of um, destruction is now done. You'll keep what Hulk, you'll keep. You probably will have to reintroduce um, Scarlet Witch and um, Quicksilver. Quicksilver's dead. Yeah, he's dead, but you have to reintroduce him somehow. Why? Because if you've got Magneto. I mean, I suppose it would. It would add to the flair, actually, because Magneto would be pissed off that his son's dead. And then he'll they're, go on the just, terrain. They'll just make it that they're not related. No, nah, but they really have. Uh, yeah, see, this is why... It doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter because X-Men needs rebooting anyway. Yeah. Like, if, if they introduce X-Men into Marvel Universe, it needs rebooting. You can't continue. And there's no point. Like, X-Men's dead weight. X-Men is dead wait yeah just use the characters um, extract the extract the good bits the meaty bits trim uh, the fat not even just like just be done with it trim the fat add some seasoning just be, just be done with all of it yeah start fresh well this is it even though I like without McAvoy, even though I like um, Flash yeah. Bender mm. just start fresh yeah I mean first class was our dream yeah that was the best one yeah it's crazy yeah, um, so this um, episode is um, dedicated to both... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? What about my proposal? Your proposal? Yeah. Fam, you, you dead food in the water, I won. Um, so what, yes, you accept or not? I'm not accepting your terms. Why not? Because they're bullshit. Why, right, then what's the terms? The terms are, which film's actually better? We'll watch the film and we'll judge it that yeah, way. Yeah, but then you'll say your one's better and I'll say my one's better. And your point is? Then that doesn't resolve anything. It's not about it being resolved, bro. While on, while on, whether you like it or not, all right? Those are the rules. We'll watch the film. Well, okay, I can speak for my own integrity. Mm. I can't speak for yours. <laughs> likewise, sir. Likewise. <laughs> what is your point? My point is, mm. like, fair enough. If, if I accept your terms, like, no, no, but I that's can, what I'm saying. If the it's not a case. It's not a case of it. Better, I can say it is. Yeah. But if Aquaman is better, which I'm pretty sure it will be, it won't be. Will you will you concede and say Aquaman's a better film? Okay. See, no, already that's already a no. I it's unlikely. I can't. It's unlikely. It's look, unlikely. Look how hard it was for you to just say yes. No, 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 no. Because it's, it's, it's not yes? even Aquaman's fault. It's not even Aquaman's fault this time. It's just the uh, the current roster of films that I've watched from DC doesn't matter you're basing does. it on this film alone it does you're basing it on this film alone I'm not trying to base Venom on all the Spider-Man films that came before it and their flopped Gambit for oh yeah that's um, Fox whatever like, I'm not trying to I'm basing Venom just no but that's what I'm saying Gambit didn't flop it just wasn't released no but it flopped in the execution of trying to actually put it in production <laughs> no the reason why that happened is because Wolverine's origins were so shit <coughs> no, because that was after. That's what I'm saying. They meant to that's do Gambit. Why, that's why they didn't make Magneto. But the reason why they didn't make Gambit is because Gambit wasn't well received because he was in X Men Origins. No, because Fantastic Four was shit. That as well. I don't know. It's, it's a weird world. Um, but yeah, but no, no X Men Origins got nothing to do with it because that was way after. It was way after. No, no, no. Because remember that was part of that new turn of what the X-Men films were going to be. I was after Last Stand, so you was going to have X-Men Origins, Wolverine, X-Men's Origins, um, Magneto, X-Men's Origins, Gambit, no. X-Men's Origins, yeah, yeah. And then I was meant to do some form of like, um, 
Man. Sentinel film. Man. That was way after because it was after First Class. Mm. It was after um, what you call it? Uh, Days of Future Past. After Days of Future Past, that's when they started talking about Gambit film. Well, either either, it's a it's a bag of shit. Um, and it's not nothing to do with um, Gambit as such. It's to do with just the way that they were executing their films at that time. Um, but then saying that, it's not even Fox, it's Sony. Yeah. And to be fair, they are somewhat unreliable in regards to making good superhero films. Well, duh. But DC originated um, the, the superhero movie, as it were. Yes. Or the was it the modern interpretation of a superhero movie. And they have produced the worst films of this century so far. Base your opinion on Aquaman alone. You can't base it off BVS. You can't base it off Man of Steel. You can't base it off Justice League. Just base it off I will not base it on these films if there isn't a reference to any of these films within this film. Even so, for example, so for example, on. if Batman comes down. Batman's not going to be in it. No other characters are going to be in it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a hypothetical. If Batman or Wonder Woman come down into Atlantis and say, "Oh my God, we've got an emergency up above. Um, Superman's, um, Superman's been murdered by um, Doomsday," or anything that links me back to that moment where I realised my whole entire fucking three hours had been wasted. Anything like that happens. Yeah. I'm walking out. It's going to be the one film I walk out of. Is that the minimum? Is that the minimum reference? No, no, no. I reckon I can, I can walk out for less. So what's the minimum reference then? You can mention their names. Yeah. But you cannot... Like, I mean, it depends. It depends on the context. They can't help him out. Yeah. If they help him out, I'm just going to say Aquaman's a bitch. Okay. Full stop. Yeah. Um, can't handle his own problems in his own backyard. Fuck yeah. him. Um, but, saying that, I can see one or two things happening mm. right because you've got Black Manta Black Manta's a bigger threat than his Ocean Master brother whatever um, but the fact that both of them are in the same film mm. now makes me feel like Aqualad might turn up if Aqualad turns up if Aqualad turns up come on bro look, they could just about convince you if Aqualad you turns in up Aquaman film, they're not gonna pull I'm walking out I'm walking out because Fine, I, 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 that, I, I, I like. I'm not 100 percent certain that that's not going to happen, bruv. What I'm saying is, if any of these mad, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm very temperamental with the DC films at the moment. So, if anything that happens that I don't like, I'm walking. This is why I wanted to base it upon more than just your opinion. Ugh, because I know you're going to be biased. No, I'm not going to be biased. I just don't no, like. You sound, you're, gonna, you're being biased now, and the film hasn't even come no, out. No, I'm being I'm being pretty judgmental. But then it's it's not as if I only had one film to reference. I had a, a, a cavalcade of calamity to watch before I've even seen the trailer for Aquaman. Yeah. Cavalcade. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying about Aquaman. I don't know. It's like that girl that had um, sort of like um, a really good relationship with and everyone's going well and then she tried to stick something up your backside and you went down for that. You love that person or you love that thing but you won't let it near you ever again. You don't want it to hurt you. <laughs> and on that bombshell... Actually, wait. I was meant to do the whole dedication. So R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-I-P. Arifa, frankly. And on that note, goodbye.